Thanks for logging on to pewterpowers.com, everybody. This is your extra slice, brought to you by our co-title sponsors, House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company. I'm Mike Neighbors, alongside Buccaneer Insider Roy Cummings. Now, Roy, looked like the Bucks were going to improve to three and zero in their dress rehearsal. Came up short in the end, but a lot of good signs in this game for this football team, beginning with their quarterbacks through this preseason. Now, if you look at Ryan Fitzpatrick, Jameis Winston, and Ryan Griffin, six touchdown passes, zero interceptions. Yeah, they're all really uh, playing good football right now. Good stuff from all three of them. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, a nice bounce back game for him tonight. Uh, really looked sharp, uh, six of seven overall and six of six for his first uh, uh, quarter of play, and uh, that was really good. And then Jameis Winston comes in and continues to do basically what he's been doing since he came back from the injury last season, which is playing exceptional football. And again, as you said, uh, no giveaway. So that's that's really important. And then Ryan Griffin, who's kind of been uh, one of the guys that has really uh, gotten a lot of uh, uh, praise throughout this preseason for the way he's played. Uh, he's done it again this this game here and uh, put, helped get the Bucks up 27 to six in this game uh, before they let it get away from him in the second half. So uh, good good play all around from the quarterbacks. That's a real good sign that going into the season, no matter who's under center, this is, this team's got a chance to win and play at a high level. Well, Ryan Fitzpatrick's had kind of that roller coaster ride this preseason. But he's always quick to remind us, don't get too high or too low. It is the preseason. In Miami, he looked good. Last week in Nashville against Tennessee, didn't look as good. Looked great in this game, finding a lot of different guys. And Chris Godwin was one of those guys who just continues to make plays. Yeah, I, I think as we've gone on through this preseason, I think he's one of the stars who's really emerged. I mean, we've seen it a lot in training camp workouts. He's flashed a lot there, did it a little bit last year as well. Uh, but now we see it in the games, and we're seeing it on a regular basis. He's become a real target uh, for not just Ryan Fitzpatrick, but Jameis Winston as well. Uh, this is a guy, to, as I was watching the game tonight, I was thinking this is a guy who could really emerge during the regular season as one of the young stars throughout the NFL. So certainly uh, one of the young stars for the Buccaneers. You know, it's unfortunate there's only one football because this team's got so <laughs> many weapons. Uh, they could really make use of another ball out there somehow because they got a lot of guys they can get it to. One guy you've been behind since day one of training camp, even in the offseason, is running back Peyton Barber. And that first drive for Ryan Fitzpatrick, sure, he looks sharp completing his first six passes, but Peyton Barber really shouldered the load, almost rushing for 40 yards in that first drive, and he had the touchdown. Yeah, he's been really sharp all through the preseason. This is a guy, again, I've said it before, that I mean, he just looks like uh, he, he feels that this is his opportunity and he's taking full advantage of it. Um, I think he feels, you know, a little bit of heat from, from some of the guys behind him. The Bucks went out and, you know, spent a, a premium draft pick on Ronald Jones. So I think he realizes, hey, I've got to keep working hard at this, and he's doing a great job of working at it because uh, right now he, he is ready to, to start the NFL season. Uh, I don't think we're going to see him in uh, the final preseason game. Probably not. In fact, they pulled him out of this game a little yeah. bit early, wanted to give him a little bit more work, but they were so happy with what they saw in that first quarter. They said, you know what, go ahead and sit down, Peyton. You, Peyton, you're good to go. No doubt on this field, the play of the game, Adam Humphreys. It kind of was reminiscent of that Alabama-Auburn game back in 2013, the kick six. Well, you had the Humphrey six, 109-yard return on the missed field goal. And he was kind of uh, calm about it after the game, but this place, there weren't, it wasn't capacity crowd with the delay, but the crowd got fired up and deservingly so after that you one. You know, it, you got to do a lot to make a preseason game worth the price of admission. <laughs> well, you know what? Tonight, Adam Humphreys did right. it. And uh, that was a special play. That's something that everybody that was here in this building tonight is going to remember for a long, long time. Uh, it was Again, it was just another example of how uh, this team's got a lot of playmakers and a lot of guys who can do a lot of special things. And let's not forget, the play that set that up was a sack by Gerald McCoy on third down. So one of three sacks for that Bucks defense tonight. So uh, this, this is a group, this whole team, playing some pretty good football right now. A couple things to get to. Ronald Jones didn't rush the football like many would hope for, but he caught the nice deep ball from Ryan Fitzpatrick early. And for a guy kind of looking to get over the hump for a confidence boost, I think that was big for him. Yeah, I think it was. And, uh, yes, he continues to have trouble running the ball. Uh, but Dirk Cutter pointed out tonight in the uh, aftermath, he said, look, don't get the idea that it's not a result of, uh, uh, of Ronald Jones not working hard, um, not, not, not really getting it. Uh, he's playing smart football. He understands the offense, according to, to Dirk Cutter, and he's, and he's working hard in practice. It's, George is not seeing the results uh, on game day so far. But one thing to keep in mind, going into this game, a nine of the 12 carries that, that uh, Ronald Jones had, 
he was hit either at or behind the line yeah. of scrimmage by the defense. So uh, maybe a little bit more help from the offensive line would help him a little bit. I think if he hit the hole a little bit harder, he'd probably uh, help himself out a little bit. But, hey, uh, those things are all things that will come to him as he gets more accustomed to the pace of the game here at the NFL level. All right, we can't leave out the defense. A lot of highlights on offense. But let's talk about uh, the defense. Uh, it was kind of a bend but don't break effort, I thought. They gave up some yardage but then allowed the, the Detroit uh, Lions to field goals instead of touchdowns. Gerald McCoy kind of stood out for you once again. Yeah, he did. Again, uh, what in essence could have been his third sack of the preseason because he had one taken away because of a penalty last week. But uh, his second sack of the preseason, he's got five solo tackles this preseason. This is in three games or, or what amounts to maybe one full game for him. So uh, he's playing really well. I think what uh, just the addition of some of the new guys, JPP obviously, Vinnie Curry, some of those guys, I think he's really taken advantage of it, and that's good to know. But you're right. Overall, it's been a bend but don't break kind of defense. But you know what? Every time you can give up, when you when a team gets in the red zone, your opponent gets in the red zone, and you have to force them to kick a field goal, that's a win for the defense. They've had a lot of those this preseason. No doubt about it. You know what? Uh, our weather delay because of lightning and thunderstorms in the area, I think it's past our bedtime, partner. Oh, it's past mine, that's for sure. Okay, but we're going to have a podcast up coming on PeterPyrus.com. It's called A Few Extra Bucks. The Bucks will not be undefeated this preseason. They've only been undefeated two times in their history. Back in 1983, had a losing season. Back in 1999, one of the better seasons in Bucks history, made it to the NFC Championship game. But that is your extra slice brought to you by House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company from my man Roy Cummings. I'm Mike Neighbors. Thanks for logging on.